Get two s- uh, I keep the weed on me like food on a bit. Uh, smack like a d- out of place, too much lip. Yeah. Fingertips covered in the rest of the roast clips. Uh, the T-A-C-M-C-P-O-T. Individual, better known as Lord B. Uh, You're asking how you nice on the M-I-C. I reply back, yeah, it's the God and me. It's like a blessing. Walking the beat, no half-stepping. Stomp with aggression, I run it in your direction. Flows with perception and lyrics is filled with lessons. You best take notes when the track is finished. We testing on a statewide. Exam from Paul Smith to Preston We tally up the scores and see you break the best And only three to five percent will qualify perfection You gotta do the dope, my name is to stop stressing Light from the G-O-D Yeah, I got that Presence of a true MC Yeah, I got that Fly lady next to me Yeah, I got that Rep for the DMV Yeah, I got that Peace, peace, this is DJ Olo you're listening to Radio Fairfax. This is On Beat with Olo. Yeah. You just heard a track by my brother El Better called I Got That. You know, here um, on, on this show, we only play independent music. I'm not going to say we only play independent music, because I'm sure there's going to be a point where I play some other stuff as well. But for the most part, you know, we play independent music. We like to play a lot of local talent. Um, and uh, that's all I'm playing tonight, man. In studio, we've got Sinistar, Mr. Forge, Natra E., Switch and Donna Hayes, they're all local artists. Yeah. Um, we've all worked together. We all know each other. Um, you know what I'm saying? We do we do a lot of uh, a, a lot of music, a lot of recording, a lot of shows together. And uh, we're just sitting here chopping it up, man. Just talking about music, man. It's something I wanted to get into. You know, we got um, three of these cats here are Latin brothers um, mm-hmm. from South America, different parts of South America. And I just wanted to talk about the influence of hip hop. In, in in your lives and other people in South America because you know hip hop is really big man in South America. Um, my boy he lives down in Chile and and he he's right outside of Santiago, Chile, and he's always telling me how you know um, the hip hop scene out there is huge. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. actually they tell me he tells me all the time that it's actually better than the hip hop scene over here yeah, in the DC is. Metro. Um, so you know I just wanna how do you guys feel? Let's let's start with Switch over here, man. How do you feel about that, man? About the whole. Latin American mixture. Yeah, how do you feel? How do you feel about the state of music today, man? Right now, talk to us. All right, the state of music right now is, uh, it's either, I think it's, it's got its pros and cons basically, because like, I think uh, since everybody, you know, they got a lot of independent labels and artists under the same roof as like uh, mainstream artists, so the it's kind of flooded, you know. But at the same time, you get to hear a lot of uh, if you're open minded, open, and you got open ears, you can you can get to hear a lot of stuff. And uh, some of it might sound better than other stuff. Might it might even sound better than a mainstream song. Uh, just depends on what you what you what you like, what your flavor, what you were, what, what really gets you. You know. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, if it is, it's open to opinion right now, majorly, especially because of the uh, internet. Um, it's hard to. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of music out there, but it's hard to filter out what's what's good and what's trash now you know um it seems like everybody who's got a computer or anyone who's got any type of digital hardware um can record their own music and put it up which is cool for the creative aspect of it Mm -hmm. um but again you know music has a certain standard um and i think we all uh, appreciate different types of music but um you know again it's it's open to the to the 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 listener you know what i'm saying it's it's up to the listener to say this is what I like, this is what I don't like. Um, Mr. Forge, how do you feel about that, man? Well, I come from um, from Mexican roots, so technically I'm North American. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, you're nah, actually I'm, the only American, really, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a uh, no, I got a uh, you know indigenous roots, you know, um, from uh, Apache Me- uh, Mexican. But anyway, it's not it's not about that. Uh, as far as you know, my opinion with uh, with Latin hip hop, you know. Um, you know, I got a lot of brothers down in, uh, you know, Guerrilla Republic, Colombia, you know, Chile, 
you know, um, even Mexico. I mean, everywhere, really. You know, in Spain, we have Exopoeticas in, uh, in Spain. And um, just on the Latin market, I mean, or I should say hip-hop in general, man, because I got brothers in Norway and, in, 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 you know, Deutschland and, you know, or Germany, rather. Um, just everywhere, man. With hip-hop, it's like how it was in the 80s for us here in America. You know what I mean? Everyone's, you know, down to that. You know, it's about, you know, graffiti art and you know, it's about b-boying. It's about, you know, true MC and It's about hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? So right now it's like a fresh baby in all the, the parts of the world. Of, to the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, so so it's it's more truer, it's more fresher, you know, it's more realer than mainstream American music, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna call it hip hop because it's not even hip hop anymore. It's it's more like rap. It's just it's pop, like man. Christmas it's just rap, pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Foil, not even Christmas <laughs> rap, man. Because you know Christmas I mean? rap was good, Moldable, man. Yeah, you know, nah, nah, like... man. <laughs> Today's music, man, and that's that's you'll never catch me playing the stuff that you hear on the other radio stations, man. Right, Guaranteed. Right. It's like they make a song out of everything. Pick yeah. it up while it's cold. Drop it like it's hot. Pick it up while it's cold. Drop yeah, it like it's hot. yeah, man. We try to stay away from that kind of stuff over stupid, here, man. But stupid. it's funny, man. I mean, uh. I don't know, like like I listen to a lot of other, you know, uh, MCs, you know, like I said, and or Latin MCs, um, and uh, it's, it's more truer, man. You know, I feel it more. You know, it's more grimier. You know, um, and even even in the, within, and maybe you guys can can relate to this. Um, you know, uh, I got, I know that there's a lot of folks that um, how do I say it? Like, cause I'm from LA, man. So coming here, I know that there was a big thing between hip hop music and go go. It was like they were like up against one another. Mm -hmm. So within the Latin community, uh, you know, it's a thing between that reggaeton kind of artist, you know what I'm saying, and, and hip-hop. Hip you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just kind of uh, transcends into, into, you know, rap slash hip-hop as well, you know what I'm saying? It's like mainstream versus, you know, uh, underground. So it's always this, this constant tug and pull, you know, this... Uh, you know, uh, this rivalry, if, if you will. I mean, there really is no rivalry, but you know what I'm saying. No rivalry, yeah, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it's that's the thing, though. That's what I was trying to say is that on this show, not just on this show, but what we do, everybody in this in the studio right now, the way that, I, in my opinion, the way that, that we um, portray music is we try to keep the balance to, to mm -hmm. all the trash that's out. I'm not saying the stuff is all trash, but there's a lot of trash. And mm -hmm. so we like to keep the balance and just try to um, give right. the people something that's more conscious minded, something that's going to make you think a little bit more, something that's going to teach your babies something. Like a message, you know? A message, yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take I mean, it back all to the good roots. music was able to, to withstand time, man. I mean, I don't know, off the, off the top of the head, I just started thinking about Bill Haley and the Comets, you know what I'm saying? Rock Around the Clock. Yo, that transcended like, what, 60, 70 years, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Or yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah. yeah, it's probably sampled like a million times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, or like he was talking about James Brown. I mean, good music just withstands time. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, mind. that's true talk. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it is. I don't know who just said James Brown, but James Brown is one of the most sampled people yeah. yep. in hip hop. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying, James Brown, man. He is hip hop. Yeah, he is hip hop. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. if you don't, you know, if you don't know James Brown, you don't really know what hip hop is, man. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? And if you don't want to go back and listen to James Brown, which I, I think you should. But if you don't want to, you know, pick up a mixtape from DJ Premier, man. He'll teach you about mm -hmm. uh, about James Brown. That's what's up. Senna, talk to Yo. us, man. Latin hip-hop. Latin hip-hop. Um, it's beautiful, man, you know? Um, especially when you got cats that came out before to set it down for us, you know? Like, Fat Joe was probably, like, one of the first... To bring it down, like New York raw hip hop, like '94 era, big pun. You know what I'm saying? And then he yeah. brought yeah. the almighty pun, which is like you know, yeah. one of my biggest influences. It part of the reason, cause he's Latino, you know, and the impact he did. He like the first Latin hip hop platinum artist, and um, to earn to earn that with keeping it so raw and so true to the roots of hip hop is beautiful and you can't really do that nowadays you know what i'm saying cuz you got to in in order to have a platinum record you know what i'm saying there's a lot of bs you got to do and put yourself through you know what i'm saying that's why I, mean, I don't know what you're saying because I don't put myself through it, but <laughs> i'm sure other people feel you man yeah we have this conversation all the time and there's a lot of people that um, think they make really big moves and, you know, their egos get really big and stuff, but they're right here next to us the whole time, man. That's what I'm saying, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I see them all the time, man. You know what I mean? I see them down the street in the city or whatever all the time. But uh, in their head, six years ago, they made it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. But, but I mean, um, you know, as far as that and 
um, like y'all were talking about, like overseas, just like third world, it seems like they just have a great appreciation for real hip hop and hip-hop. real music, you know, and they take it serious and they look back to the uh, golden era and, you know, really just zone and study on it and, you know, create their style, adding, you know, their flavor. That's what's up, man. Uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but we're going to get into a little P- PSA and then uh, we'll come back and get into some more music. This is Olo. You're tuning into On Beat with Olo. Radio Fairfax is a 501c3 nonprofit public access station, a service of Cox Communications. We are Radio Fairfax.